Well, welcome everybody. We're looking at, uh, I don't normally do two uh, winners today, but this one did extra well too. The Wafu, W-A-F-U, Education Group. Currently at 241%. Now, uh, they were saying the P&E &E ratio uh, down here might be leading to uh, investors thinking this could be undervalued. So the stock's been around a little while, so it's not an IPO like the other one today, but uh, it's showing a lot of promise in uh, today's uh, chart. So let's go down to the, let's skip all this news stuff because there's nothing huge going on here except uh, people took a look at the earnings, I guess, and, and got a little crazy. But a lot of stuff going on with this company, and uh, let's see what's going on here on the chart. On the monthly, you can see it's been around uh, before the year 2000. 2000 and uh, 2020 and uh, has done quite well since then and has really had a huge high here. Where's this high at? Uh, $20.83. So here, let's jump out a little bit, see if we can make some sense out of these charts. Uh, getting a lot of buying here at uh, almost a 15, 14.50 level, 14.40, yeah, 14.50 level. I was really trading low before today and really had a huge jump uh, this morning on Friday. Really early morning, too. Uh, had a huge jump. So what's going on with this stock? Let's just get right down to the nitty-gritty and get down to the two-minute. See if we can see anything showing us. Maybe we can jump in right now. I don't know. It's, uh, it's crossed its major money value right here. Uh, I'd say it's uh, getting exhausted again, so it's hard to tell with this one. Maybe tomorrow to have a better, better feel for it. Maybe somewhere to jump in. Uh, may retract. Uh, looks like it's on the down on the 15 second, but lots of buying here at these levels. So maybe it'll keep shooting up. It's hard to see. We'll have to sit on the sidelines and see how how this one plays out today. But but look at some of the indicators that that are. Uh, available here we get a lot of uh, buying and selling right now look at this and it's it's crossed the VWAP so that's uh, bullish and uh, what else do we got uh, more buying than selling um, the money flows is down right right this minute but could probably shoot back at any second it's hard to tell with these stocks uh, a lot of open it look at this 2.5 million 2.8 wow that's a lot of uh, interest in this stock at one point but it seems to have come down but it's still a very high number very high so uh will this reverse maybe it'll bounce off this stay bullish and keep going up let's take a look here and run this one out a little bit and see what's going on here on the stock here so let's uh let's push this out a little bit and see where see where this thing's headed right this second we have the uh stochastic here looks like it could rebound uh Starting to get a little up and down play here between the bulls and the bears. Now we're getting the bears in control. So will it dump down to 1540 and then recover? Hard to tell. There's a lot of buying at this one level right here. It may keep it at this level and, and force it back up. So we're getting some buying on the tail. Look at all this buying here. Buy, buy, buy. Yeah, this thing could shoot up. We're getting a lot of, a lot of shooting up. But look at it. It's coming down. It's, it's being forced by being exhausted on the MACD, it looks like. So uh even though all those people just bought looks like a lot of their stop losses did break through uh that they had because they got out wow so hard to tell with this one uh what's going on i would hold back right this second because it's uh it's a little bit iffy but it could rebound in here it had, it's dropping below the oscillator at this moment uh but seems uh to maybe have find found a spot look at this heavy buying again in here Will this yellow bar extend out and continue, or are people just going to watch and let this thing dump? So, uh, still in bear mode on the VWAP. Uh, a lot of buying here at this level. Let's see, what level was that? Can't get it to work, but it uh, looks like it's about $16. So, 16 it does match this one right here. Heavy buying. It should recover back to the $16 price at least. Uh, but we'll wait and see. Maybe not. All right.
right, the $16 line just extended out a little. Look at that, it's trying to recover back to the $16 where everybody was buying at. And if it crosses that level, it should do a little shoot up maybe. We'll have, we'll have to see. Hard to tell, looks exhausted, yeah, look at this thing. It tried, it tried to get back to that level, but couldn't. It was forced back down to this other previous level of volume uh, and is, is crossed below it. So that's not good. That could uh, uh, maybe bounce or, or go back up. It's hard to say at this point, but it could just dump. So there's a lot of heavy buying in here. You can see this line's getting extended. And uh, yeah, this one's... Hmm. Well, I haven't bought any of the stock, but man, it's got a lot of volume. So if you can pick the direction, the momentum of where this stock is heading can make a few quick profits. But if you're going long, I'd wait for uh, this thing to settle maybe a little bit and see where it's heading in the next few days to tell if this has just got overbought or not. And so hard to tell. The stock looks good. The company seems to be doing well. But second place, Wafu, 228% right now in after hours. So good luck to everybody. Hope that helps. Hope you had some fun watching this new stock. Uh, stay tuned uh, for Monday. We'll do another review of some more stocks. So take care, my friends. Take care.